everybody, I'm Nitin and today in this PSLE 2016 Paper 2 question series, I'll be going through question 16. In my channel, I aim to help all of you master all those concepts out there, okay? So let's move on to question 16. So this is question 16 and this question is testing us on ratio, percentage and grouping. A caterer prepares chicken wings for some people attending a barbecue. The ratio of the number of adults to the number of children attending is 2 is to 3. Among the children, the ratio of the number of girls to that of the boys is 4 is to 1. A total of 210 chicken wings are prepared so that each adult gets 4 chicken wings and each child gets 2. What fraction of the people attending the barbecue are boys? So this is part E. After this, there's a part B in this question i'll go through that later okay so first we need to list down the ratio so over here before that we should do what highlight yes good job remembering so the ratio of the number of adults to the number of children is two is to three among the children the ratio of the number of girls to that of the boys is four is to one a total of 210 chicken wings are prepared so that each adult gets 4 chicken wings and each child gets 2. What fraction of the people attending the barbecue are boys? So it's the fraction, okay? So first we need to list down the ratio. So first, adults is those children, which is 2 is to 3. Now, now among the children, okay? Ratio of the number of girls to that of the boys is 4 is to 1. So, boys is to girls is to total is 4 units. 4 parts is to 1 part is to 5 parts, okay? The, the, the total is 5 parts. So, that is why it's like that. Now, the total is... Why did I put the total over here? Because the children over here is the total. is the same as this. But is it the same now? 5 and 3, is it the same? No, it's not the same. So we should make it the same. So what's the multiple? What's the lowest common multiple? Is 5 and 3. So it is 15. So let's make them both 15. So making it 10 units is to 15 units. And over here, 12 units is to 3 units is to 15 units. So basically, I times 5 this side to make it 15 units. And I times 3 this side to make it 15 units. And all of them are equal now. So it's a stable working now. So now they are telling us what fraction of the people attending the barbecue are boys. So it's three units over here. Okay. So the boys, the girls is to boys is to the total is 12 units is to three units. Okay. So over here is three units. So the boys is three units. Understand? So now that the boys is three units, right? What is the total? Attending the barbecue is 10 units plus 15 units, right? Which is 25 units. So the people are 25 units. So basically the boys, the fraction is 3 over 25. Okay? And then the people is 25. So 3 over 25 is the answer for part A. Okay? So I hope you understand my explanation for part A. So let's move on to part B. So this over here is part B, okay? Um, so let's read the part B. How many children are attending the barbecue? So they're asking the total children. And so this was our before ratio, right? Adults is to children, right? Okay, so basically we need to know how many children are attending the barbecue. So there are 15 units of children, but we don't really know it. So now I'm going to use this very important line over here. So they are using a total of this line over here. See this line over here? Now the rest is actually not that important anymore. Not that important. Okay? So this thing is not that important anymore. So now this is the before ratio. In the before slide there was a ratio, right? So this is the ratio. So now, first, I'm going to take it as 10 adults. This 10 units, I'm going to take it as 10 adults. And this 15 units, I'm going to take it as 15 children. So I'm finding the number of chicken wings that each adult gets. So 10 adults is 4 chicken wings per adult, right? So 4 times 10, it is. And then 15 children, right? So it's 2 times 15. So this is the basically the chicken wings that each of them get. So 
10 adults get 40 wings and 15 children get 30 wings. And this is 70 wings. So this is basically one group, okay? I understand this is basically one group. It does not make 210. It's supposed to be a total of 210, right? So the adults is not 10, 10 and the children are not 15. So since this is one group, I'm going to use the grouping concept and find how many groups are there in order to find the children. So the number of groups is 210 divided by 70, which is three groups. So there are three groups. In each group, there is 15 children, right? There's 15 children in each group. So um, in order to find three groups, we can find the children. The children is basically 15 times 3, okay? So 15 times 3 is 45. So this is the answer for part B, okay? So 45 is the answer for part B. So I hope you understand my explanation for part A and part B of this video. And thank you and bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!